Hello and welcome to another CNG Tech Vibe. My name is Juan Villar and today I will show you how to create a dynamic dashboard in Results. Before jumping into the Results program, let's first define what is a dashboard and what is the utility of this option. Basically, dashboard is an option that allows you to create pages containing multiple plots, reservoir views, text boxes, and images. As you can see in this animation, the dashboard option allows you to put in the same window different plots and enables you to quickly compare data in order to identify patterns, trends, and relationships. But what we call dynamic dashboard? Dynamic dashboard is when we use dashboard option in results to see and analyze changes over the simulation time for a specific grid set. Uh, in order to understand this concept better, uh, we will use an example and we will try to analyze how the relative permeability of this sterility process working in a water alternating gas WAC process. In, uh, in this tech buy, we will use results to try to track in the saturation changes in a grid cell. And for that, we will create a time series plot, like this one. And also, we will uh, um, try to track in the relative permeability changes on a grid cell. And for that, we will create a time series versus time series plot, something similar to this one. Okay. Uh, let's now move to results and see what we can do there. Now in results, let's start creating the plots that we mentioned. First, let's go to time series and let's start to create a block property uh, plot. Let's select uh, our data set and let's create uh, the changes in saturation for the grid block one in i one in j and y one in k okay and let's select uh, gas saturation and also with using control let's select water saturation and then let's click up to a new plot and now we can see uh, how the saturation for the cells one 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 is changing with time Okay, uh, this is one of the plots that we mentioned. Let's try to create now the second plot that we, uh, we need to create for this uh, tutorial. And let's create time series versus time series plot. Let's go to this option here. And uh, again, let's select a block property from the, our data set and the same block. But in this time for the X axis, let's select gas saturation and for the y axis let's select the relative permeability to gas okay gas relative perm when we have this selection again we need to check uh, add to new plot and now we will be able to check how the gas relative permeability is changing okay in gas saturation as we can see here we have different paths and let's see how we can analyze this situation. Uh, let's move to create the dashboard, okay? And for create the dashboard, what we need to do is just take the plot that we want to move to the dashboard and drag and drop it to the dashboard section, okay? That will create a move over plot to the dashboard, okay? Now let's select also a reservoir view, an aerial view, and let's move also to the dashboard. Now we will have two, um, in the same screen, in the same page, the two plots. This is the aerial view, and in this side we have the gas saturation versus gas relative permeability plot. Finally, let's uh, add also our gas saturation and water saturation plot 
let's put here in the top also drag and drop it and throw it here we can see here now we have the three plots in the same uh, uh, area and uh, what we call dynamic is because if we go now uh, we select the aerial view and we go to the display tab we can click in the plus button and as soon as we click we can see that uh, what are what are the changes okay in the in the gas saturation and we can see here in the plot of uh, gas saturation that we have a timeline that is gonna move uh when the when we press this plus button and it's gonna move with the simulation time okay also if um, we move enough to see the gas saturation changes we will see in the plot below that with this dot we are sh uh, the, the results is showing where we are in this moment okay uh, that means that for at this moment we have this gas saturation and the gas relative permeability is this one in this point here if we move with time we continue we can see that the gas saturation is increasing and then when we start the water injection that the water saturation is start increasing here okay we can see that the gas saturation is decreasing and we move following this path okay but when we start with the second uh work cycle we can see that uh, as soon as the gas saturation start increasing we are following another path and that is because we have some gas trapping okay that occur when we start injecting the first cycle of water and uh, we will see that uh, when uh, we start injecting again the um, the water we will follow another path and that is because the gas dropping is increasing every time that we increase uh, we start injecting the gas okay as you can see uh, it's a very powerful tool that allows us to see how is changing and we can mix here any number of plots okay and uh, and we can check all together and we can see what happened with time in all the plots okay another uh, very nice feature that uh, we have when we put all this dynamic dashboard together is that we can change the cell and uh, we can select another cell in the in the area view and that automatically will change the plots that we have because all the plots are synchronized in this uh, dashboard and then all the plots are going to change as soon as we click in another cell in that way we can analyze the changes in all the grid cells of the model without doing it manually plot by plot okay uh, i hope this um, this um, this uh, Take by video help you in the future with using results and see you next time.